So DDN is the worldwide leader in HPC storage technology as well as uh, the market leader in HPC high scale deployments for a variety of uh, big data and data intensive computing applications across the marketplace. And DDN is a complete end to end systems and technology provider solving the whole of the information and the data lifecycle challenge across the big data and HPC computing environment. So ranging from block storage to file storage to object storage, DDN has an integrated platform portfolio that really helps customers uh, accelerate every part of their information processing and uh, visualization processes as well as build out very, very deep and extensive archive environments that are designed to integrate tightly into the HPC workflow. So uh, this is our biggest supercomputing ever. Uh, SC12 has upwards of about seven announcements that we're happy to bring forward. Uh, so starting with last week, we announced our first hybrid mid-range appliance. Uh, the SFA 7700 is a fully integrated flash and spinning disk product that is designed to deliver the performance of flash but the economics of spinning disk. We integrate this directly into our uh, file system platform portfolio that's also getting a big overhaul for supercomputing. So our exascaler and our grid scaler parallel file systems now support the 7700 platform in addition to the SFA 12K, which is the world's fastest HPC parallel file system storage appliance. And both of these are also getting software overhauls for better, um, better performance as well as more functionality. In addition to that, we're adding um, enterprise NFS and SIFS gateways so that all sorts of enterprise applications can now talk to high-speed parallel file systems. And then finally, they're being um, upgraded with uh, an integration into our cloud storage product called WAS. So WAS is a distributed peer-to-peer -peer cloud storage system that now tightly couples in with our parallel file systems so users can process data locally and distribute that out via their own private cloud to enable very simple consolidate, uh, collaboration and um, enable their research partners to, to basically have a, a global access to a, a collaborative research environment. So those are two announcements. Number three is we announced um, our investment in Exascale is really, really large. So we're, we're carving out $100 million of our R&D budget over the next few years, dedicating that specifically to solving some of the toughest problems as companies and organizations grow from where we are today, the petaflop era, to a thousand times that for Exascale. And our work will include things around um, such initiatives such as uh, burst buffer technology, converged infrastructure, high scale object storage. And one of the next announcements that complements that is the fact that DDN's now been included in the DOE Fast Forward program. So this is the Department of Energy's uh, program around building next generation exascale technology. Uh, DDM was selected by Intel as part of the IO working group to help really evolve the state of the art and uh, we'll be collaborating on Lustre and uh, helping move that technology forward. Beyond that, we're announcing a worldwide research uh, partnership for academic institutions. So um, to put some, some wood behind the arrow, we're announcing a $100,000 a year prize for our research partners in the educational uh, institution space that are looking to basically develop up new concepts and technology really to move the state of the art forward from an IO perspective. And then lastly, we're putting out a little announcement about winning three HPC Wire Awards. Um, so it happens to be the, the biggest haul that we've taken ever in HPC Wire history. But we're also announcing the fact that we've won more HPC Wire Awards than any other storage company in history. So pretty great time. Thanks to all the HPC Wire readers for, uh, for recognizing all the great things that we're doing. So big data is a key focus for DDN in 2012. Um, it's in fact not so different than the business and the work that we've been doing with the HPC community for the better part of over a decade now. And our belief is that big data is just HPC being democratized across a number of different business and uh, other market applications as they're experiencing the same types of uh, data processing problems as well as scalability challenges. So in 2012, we've been announcing all sorts of partnerships with uh, organizations like the SAS Institute, who's seen the fastest runtime ever with our product. We've done some work with the Vertica team at HP around a trillion row um, series of uh, a, a trillion row data warehouse problem that they were trying to solve, where they can now do queries in as little as two seconds to that, that database. The other thing that we're happy to showcase is actually Hadoop running within our booth. 
So we have a highly optimized Hadoop um, architecture that we're running that um, can reduce the amount of infrastructure required for big data analytics by anywhere from uh, 40 to 80 percent as compared to how you would do this with kind of roll your own commodity technology. So first and foremost, we're looking to drive down the cost of computing for big data analytics and then make it simpler to deploy so that our customers, uh, which are really line of business organizations more than CIOs and IT organizations, can get to answers more quickly by taking the guesswork out of building high-scale infrastructure. So I think there's a few trends that everybody's talking about at the show that, that DDN is, a, is um, driving innovation around. Uh, the first is around the emergence of Flash as a, a, an enabling um, capability within high-scale integrated HPC storage architectures that leverage both spinning disks for capacity as well as Flash for application acceleration. We put forward our announcement on the 7700 product, which is uh, first to feature the Storage Fusion Accelerator, which is our tool set for um, flash acceleration of all sorts of uh, applications. It's also application aware, where we can listen to applications and accelerate them a little more intelligently than other flash platforms can. The other is around analytics and big data, and uh, that's what DDN's all about. So um, the, the, the discussion really evolves from just simulation in HPC to, to making correlations around those simulations. And as DDN becomes a larger part of the data intensive computing market, and as we, um, as, we, as we have customers in life sciences and financial services that are adopting our platforms, uh, of course, the analytics topic becomes more and more relevant. So pretty exciting times. Cloud storage, everybody is really trying to figure out how to adopt that for HPC technologies. DDN's approach was to really sit down and engineer with some of our largest computing customers and our largest web customers, a platform that was ultimately very scalable and very performance efficient, which contrasts in a big way versus how other people are implementing object storage for cloud environments today in the marketplace. So cloud storage in 2012 is becoming a reality. People are now trying to figure out exactly how they can use this stuff. And we're seeing really, really big projects both within the web and within collaborative computing for customers that are now saying, I understand how to use it. There's enough connectivity options so that I can port this to a variety of different applications. And I'm dealing with a level of scalability and uh, a number of requirements from a global data distribution perspective where this makes sense for my business. So uh, our product is Waz and, and it's seeing real uptake, not just in our web customer base, but also in HPC as people look to leverage those tools for more efficient collaboration. So thanks so much for coming to visit us uh, in Salt Lake City, Supercomputing 2012. See you in Denver next year and uh, we'll have a lot more to talk about. <laughs>